Right now, millions of people are learning AI skills, prompting, building apps, and automating workflows. They are watching tutorials, taking courses, and practicing every single day. And most of them will be in the exact same place a year from now. Not because they are lazy, not because they are dumb, because they are learning the wrong skill. So here is what everyone has been doing. New prompting technique, new AI tool drops. They learn it. New framework, and they master it. They are really just collecting skills like Pokemon cards. And it makes sense, right? AI is changing everything. So learn AI and win the future. So they grind. Tutorials, Twitter threads, YouTube videos. They learn how to prompt, how to build and how to automate. And after six months, they know a lot. But here's the thing. So does everyone else. The tutorials are free. The tools are free. The knowledge is free. If everyone has access to the same information, how does knowing it make you different? This is what no one is talking about. Knowledge used to be an advantage. You knew something, others didn't. You won. That's over. AI flattened knowledge. Anything that you can learn, anyone can learn. And usually in an afternoon. So what separates people now? It's not what you know. It's what you do with it. How fast you move. What you choose to ignore. Whether you can tell good from mediocre. And whether you can turn a skill into money. And these aren't technical skills. They are behavioral skills. Instincts judgments and almost nobody is teaching them so let me show you what i mean the first skill is speed not learning speed but shipping speed here is what i see constantly someone has an idea they research the best tools they watch tutorials on each one they plan out the architecture and they think about edge cases. And three weeks later, they are still preparing. Meanwhile, someone else with the same ID, they opened their AI builder, they started prompting, they shipped something ugly in four hours, but it was functional. Who do you think wins? I think you know the answer, the second person every single time. Because in just four hours, they learned more than weeks of tutorials because they hit real problems they got real feedback and speed isn't about being reckless. It's about compressing the loop between idea and reality. But most people are just stuck in the learning mode and the winners, they are in shipping mode. They start building things before they are ready, before they know enough. And that's the skill. But speed means nothing if you can't tell whether what you've built is actually good. Which brings me to the second skill, taste. And that's actually the silent killer. AI gives you output, lots and fast. And most people just accept it. The prompt worked, the thing got generated, done. But here is the thing, most AI output is mid. It's not wrong, it's not broken, it's just super mediocre. It is generic and forgettable. And if you can't feel the difference between mediocre and great, you will ship mediocre work forever. You will build products that technically work, but nobody cares about. So taste is knowing when to say, this is not good enough. It is reading AI copy and feeling that it's flat. The text is just not of high quality. It is looking at the design and understanding it needs a few more iterations. It is the instinct that says keep pushing. And you cannot learn this from a tutorial. You develop it by studying great work, by comparing your output with the best in the world, by raising your standards, until mediocre physically annoys you. And most people never do this. They optimize for speed and output without ever thinking like, is this actually good enough? So here's where it gets uncomfortable because the next skill is actually about what you don't do. The skill is filtering or more accurately, ignoring. We have new AI tools every single week, a new model every month, a new technique, a new framework, and a new game changer every day. And most people try to keep up, and they can't, nobody can. And the ones who try end up spread so thin, they're good at nothing. They know a little about everything, and a lot about nothing. The winners do the opposite. They pick one or two things, and they will go deep, and they ignore everything else. They see a new shiny tool, and they don't click. They don't watch the tutorial, and they don't try it out just to see. They protect their focus like it's their most valuable asset. Because actually, it is. The skill isn't knowing what to learn. It's knowing what to ignore. And having this discipline to actually ignore it, even when your friends are hyping it up and you really start to feel like falling behind, you're not falling behind. 
you are going deeper while they are going wider. But depth alone is not paying the bills. Which brings me to the skill that makes all the others worth something. Packaging. Call it selling, call it positioning, call it whatever you want. The point is turning what you can do into something people actually want to pay money for. This is where most AI learners completely fall apart. They build skills, they build projects, they build portfolios. And then they sit wondering why nobody wants to hire them, why no one wants to use their SaaS, and actually why no one cares. Here is why. The world doesn't pay for skills. It pays for solutions to problems. You can be the best prompt engineer on the whole planet. But if you can't explain why that will save a business time or money, you will be worthless to them. Packaging is a translation layer. It's taking I can build AI automations and turning it into I can save your sales team 10 hours per week. It's taking I can get your idea and make an AI app from it into I can create this for you in 84 hours and you will have a working product. It's the same skill but it's completely different value because most people just describe what they do but the winners they describe what you get. So there is one more skill and actually the hardest because it's about knowing when to stop and I call it the line. What do you do and what does AI do? Get this wrong and you either burn yourself out because you're doing everything yourself or you ship garbage because you trusted AI a bit too much. Most people have no idea where the line is. Some refuse to let AI touch anything important. They prompt for small stuff, but they do all the real work themselves. They're leaving 80% of value on the table. But others, they automate everything. They let AI write, think, decide, all of it. And their output has no soul, no edge, Nothing that makes it theirs. Nothing that makes it important. The skill is knowing the line. So for example, AI does the first draft and you do the edit. AI does the research, you do the insight. AI does the generation and you do the curation. The line is actually different for everyone. And the line moves as AI gets better, obviously. But knowing where it is right now, for you, for this task that you're currently doing, that's what separates people who use AI from people who are used by it. So those are the five skills. Speed, taste, filtering packaging and the line and none of them are technical but all of them are hard but there is something underneath all of this that i need to say the biggest skill is not on the list it is unlearning letting go of how things used to work the people who struggle most right now are not the ones who don't know enough they are the ones who know too much about the old way about how things should be done they can't let go so they cannot move forward they add ai to their old workflows instead of rebuilding from scratch they learn new skills but they keep their old instincts the winners in 2026 won't be the ones that learned the most they will be the people who unlearned the fastest who let go of what was so they could build what's next that is what nobody is teaching not because it's a secret but because it's uncomfortable but now you know question is what you will do about it so make sure to like and subscribe and then we'll see each other in the next one